Have you ever wondered what happens to your trash when your hauler picks it up from the curb? Where does our garbage go? I'm Helen Silvis, Multimedia Editor at The Scanner News, and I headed out to Metro Central Transfer Station on Northwest 61st Avenue to see what happens to our garbage and compost. Your recycling doesn't come here. The city's 19 hauling companies take that to many different sites across the city, places like the Rebuilding Centre in northeast Portland. Metro Central is one of two destinations for waste. Metro South in Oregon City is managed by Allied Waste. Metro Central is managed by Recology, an employee-owned company that started out in the Bay Area. Manager Larry Wilkins showed me around. His father had a garbage company, so he thought he'd drive a truck for a couple of years. That was 25 years ago. We bumped into a few of the people that keep our city clean. Here's hauler Mike Davio, hosing down his truck after making his delivery. And here's Jose Romero. It's his job to look through the garbage and take out anything dangerous. Romero's been doing this for eight years after spending four years on the sorting line. The sorting line's where everyone starts. Larry calls it the loyalty test. Howard Hill is the quality control lead. He can stop or slow the belt if too many of the wrong things are getting through. Working with him is Buck Hill, no relation. Aurora Andrade is one of the several women who work the sorting line. Another woman is now a driver. Larry says Recology usually promotes people from within the company. Robert Jones has been here for about two years, working for St. Vincent de Paul's. He pulls out anything that can be resold Central Station is the only site in Portland that can accept compost. Haulers bring in your compost and commercial compost from local food businesses. Workers remove anything that shouldn't be in there and then it's trucked out to Nature's Needs composting plant in North Plains. Only about 5% of the compost that comes in is food. The rest is yard debris. The cleaner the compost you send, the easier it is for the workers to turn it into a high quality product. With a new compost transfer centre planned for South East Foster Road, some people might be wondering, well, what does it smell like? Well, on this cold winter day, the air around the transit centre smells a bit sour, but not overwhelming. Larry admits it's worse in summer. But, he says, at Foster Road, Recology plans to install a special aerated floor with a biofilter designed to reduce odour. A pest company sets poison traps to keep vermin away. Larry says that in all his time here, he has only ever seen a rat once. Here's Larry with Falconer Cork Clayton of Airstrike Bird Control. Cork was hired to keep away the 400 gulls that arrived last summer. He said his goal is to deny the gulls food and make it uncomfortable for them to loiter here. Gulls don't like falcons, so the plan is working. Three of the falcons are resting in the shade. Here's Carbon. He looks so cute, but not to a gull, I guess. <laughs> 